massive win here tonight. You must be really pleased with that performance. Yeah, really pleased. Um, obviously, the boys put in a massive shift. Like we know the history about uh, not winning here since 2016, and yeah, we really needed to come out and we fought hard for that. So, yeah, just so proud of the boys. You uh, shifted across the scrum today, Lou said. 68 minutes, things went pretty well. Yeah, it was uh, different, but no, it was fun. Um, always helps having Collier on the tight end doing, you know, just getting through there, so it makes my job a bit easy. Uh, but no, I really enjoyed it, it was fun. And did you enjoy going up against some old faces in the front row? Yeah, <laughs> they're just giving it some of, uh, some of the chat was a bit dodgy, but no, it was definitely good to see a couple of familiar faces. Um, no, I enjoyed that really. Talk us through the performance, because the first half, you guys looked a little bit frustrated. What was said at half-time to almost turn things around a little bit? No, we just said, like, cut down the errors again, because uh, sometimes we, a bit, we overplay a bit and we need to exit a bit better. Um, but overall, we were happy with how things were going. Just those two tries, we kind of overplayed and let them into a good position. So we knew at half-time, if we just come out and impose ourselves on them, carry on doing, you know, sticking to our plan that we have in the week and and getting our set piece right that we'd come out with the result, results. Danny Kerr was his 100th try for Harlequins tonight, the all-time leading try scorer for Quinns. What's it like playing with the great man? No, it's awesome, man. Uh, he was desperate to get that try. I could see him picking and going a couple of times, eventually got it. Um, but no, you know, it's just amazing to play with someone like that. He, he takes the opportunities he has around the breakdown. He's just like a nightmare. He's a real nuisance nine, and that's what you need in a nine. Next up, we're back to the stoop, a Friday night game, which is what we love. Just how excited are you about playing Newcastle under the lights? Oh, that's, you know, there's not much incentive you need to than that. You know, playing a uh, stoop Friday night under the lights is, you know, it's a privilege. And every time we get to do that, it's awesome. So I can't wait. And the confidence looks like it's back in you guys now. A couple of uh, tough defeats at the start of the Six Nations, but two wins now and you guys are playing with smiles on faces. Yeah, I think that's the main thing. We're enjoying the way we're playing uh, and we're just sticking to our plan and believing in each other and that's what it takes, you know. Don't get uh, disheartened, you know, everyone comes into, uh, you know, losses and it's how you bounce back from that.